At that point, you're going to face the futility of trying to know infinity via the second order. See, most scientists and just people in general who are just curious about life and, you know, study a lot, intellectual type of people, if you're an intellectual, you don't even realize how much energy you are wasting trying to grasp infinity using the second order. In fact, you could be wasting so much life energy doing this that it could be physically making you sick. It could give you chronic diseases. It could be giving you cancer. It could be giving you depression and you won't even know it because it's just your, you know, your whole way of life is just like, like honestly, lately I felt like for the last 20 years of my life, I've just been trying to figure out what reality is and like, it's taken a fucking toll on me. It's stressful. It's stressful conceptually figuring out reality, trying to put all the puzzle pieces together piece by piece. Like what is God and what is Christianity and what is Buddhism is what is science and what is this and what is that and how does it all connect and what am I like? I mean, that's stressful. That's stressful. And as an intellectual, you don't even appreciate the stress and you might justify it to yourself as just like, oh, well, that's just, that just comes with the territory of being intellectual. Yeah, but that stress is slowly killing you inside. Because like you think that you're, you're making progress, but really you're just like treading water. You're staying in place. You think you're getting ahead, but you're just, you're staying in place. You have a deep thirst for a fund of, you have a fundamental curiosity, that primordial curiosity to know yourself as God. And that's not being quenched. That thirst is not being quenched by these little bits of nuggets that you get from science or even from religion or even from some Buddhist, you know, douchebag uh, guru sitting there, you know, posturing as some Buddhist wearing a robe. Those little bits of insights, they're not like satisfying you. It's almost like you're a person who has never had sex in your whole life and you're so sexually frustrated, but you don't even like know what sexual frustration is because you never you never experienced the release of a proper orgasm from proper sex. All you've done is you've gotten a little bit of like someone's tickle, tickled your genitals for a few seconds here and there in life. That's what science is doing. That's what mon- many of these YouTube videos are doing. Even many spiritual videos, spiritual teachers, all the new age stuff, what they're doing is they're, they're just tickling your genitals for a few seconds here and there. You're not getting the full thing. Like you're not getting your brains fucked out when it comes to understanding what reality is. And you're never going to get that through those methods. What you need is a full-blown awakening. And then you'll realize like, oh my God, that's what all of my curiosity was driving me towards. Like I needed my brains fucked out my whole life and I didn't know it. And I've been suffering for that. And finally it's happened and now I see what I've been missing. And now finally there's that like relief. It's like, oh my God. It's like this giant weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Like I can fucking relax now for a few minutes. There's a peace that comes with that. A deep satisfaction 